Dreaming Technology Overview The Dreaming Technology is a group that produces and sells anonymous objects. Although the specific purpose and philosophy of the activity are currently unknown, they mainly commit to fulfilling someone's wishes and future dreams. Investigation so far has confirmed that they use unknown technologies and the anomalies generated by them to realize someone's wishes or dreams. However, in many instances, they modify or erase something important about the subject. Memories, body, close persons, are surprised to fulfill their dreams. Due to it, there are cases that the subject has a different ending to the wishes or dreams originally desired. The foundation is strongly vigilant against them because some of the anomalies cause great damage to general society. The dreaming technology is mainly advertised through local newspapers and internet advertisements. Some instances are reported that they do individual sales for people with strong wishes or desires. Active cooperation with other GOIs has also been confirmed, but the full details are unknown. In addition, investigations are currently underway on the grounds that there was a possibility that information about the inside of the Foundation may have been obtaining in some way due to anonymous items were also detected at a front company of the Foundation in the past. Trismegistus Translation and Transportation Overview Trismegistus Translation and Transportation is comprised of intelligent anomalous existences and is an organization that takes the form of a company. Most of the existences have been confirmed as a member to date call themselves names related to myths and folklores around the world. For example, the individual serving as company president self-proclaims Hermes, who is a Greek mythology deity, and the individual serving as vice president self-proclaims Thoth, who is an Egyptian mythological deity. The businesses that have been identified so far range from translation, tourism, food and beverage, communication service, resort, and many others. There are estimated to be many unconfirmed businesses. These businesses are expected to have anomalous existences similar to themselves as their main customers, and they have cultural backgrounds from various regions and times. As a result, the languages used in their businesses have been identified as extinct ancient languages, rare minority languages, and liturgical languages, which are recognized as valuable linguistic research material. This organization has a neutral or friendly attitude towards the Foundation and human society. And to date, there have been no confirmed possession or use of anomalies produced with clear hostility. On the other hand, there is a high likelihood that the anomalous businesses will be exposed to the public. And for the preservation of normalcy, the Foundation considers this organization to be an object of alarm. Koigalezaki Shimbun Overview The Koigalezaki Shimbun is a news organization that disseminates information about current events in paranormal society. Primarily went through the medium of web news and disseminate information to an unspecified number of members of the public that should be kept confidential in the view of preservation of normalcy. Especially against the Foundation, reports from an adversarial view is evident, and articles involving the Foundation include fabrications and biased reporting. Koikarezaki, where the Koikarezaki Shinbun is based, is a location of interest designated as LOI 0850. Koi exists in a different dimension where it is unknown how to travel, and is home to many former members of several GOIs. The majority of members of the Koi Galesaki Shinbun are to be former members of GOIs too. As a result, the Koi Galesaki Shinbun has special connections with other GOIs, 
and is able to produce its own anomalies using technology derived from other groups. These factors make the Foundation difficult to deter the actions of the Kalikalisaki Shinbun. Kisaraki Construction Overview The Kisaraki Construction is mentioned by a number of anomalous buildings and related products. Although there is testimony that they describe themselves as a small private construction company in the Tohoku region, a number of unnatural examples as for profit organizations have been identified and the purpose of their activities is not clear. Although they are proactive in response to their client's requirement when producing and building, their deliverables have in many cases had unintended negative effects on the parties involved. It is unknown whether this is due to differences in values with the public view or whether it is based on clear intentions such as intent to harm. There are many unknown details about the activities of Kizalaki construction and the information has been able to obtain so far is limited. However, there are some materials and testimonies that relate to Oni found in old Japanese traditions and there are also many traces of magic and unusual effects that have not yet been clarified. The Foundation is currently investigating the actual state of this organization, its members, and its relationship with the outside world. The Confederate Island Countries of Phantom Overview The Confederate Island Countries of Phantom is a federated nation of islands that exist in a different world. The member islands existed in our world until around the 14th to the 16th century, but they made the move to the different world for reasons such as to escape the investigation and colonization by great powers. Based on this event, the legend of the Phantom Island that is an island that was once described in nocturnal charts, but whose existence was denied by the research of later generations was born. In the world of the CICP, there are a group of unusual items called relics, and especially powerful items are called with the initials of T, and are used for the defense of the member islands. The move of the member islands is also due to relics, which are said to have been transferred from a paranormal civilization aid known as Theo. Theo is said to have disappeared after the formation of the CICP, and no details are known to the inhabitants of the member islands. The world of the CICP and our world are still able to come and go in multiple ways. Anomalous entities originating from the world of the CICP have also been discovered, and there have been cases of damage to the surroundings. It is unclear what the inhabitants of the member islands think of their former homeland, but depending on future development, it has been designated as a GOI because it could become a threat. The Special Affairs Division, Public Security Bureau of Metropolitan Police Department Overview, the Special Affairs Division, or simply SAD, Public Security Bureau of Metropolitan Police Department, is an undercover investigative agency within the Metropolitan Police Department, organized to deal with abnormal phenomena and paranormal crimes. SAD is under the control of the Special Affairs Investigation Bureau of National Police Agency, which is a member of the JAPATO and is indirectly influenced by the policies of the Japanese government and JGPATO. Their main activities are aimed at grasping trends and restraining the behavior of GOIs throughout Japan, mitigating the impact of anomalous entities on society, and protecting the general public from threatening anomalies. But due to bureaucratic issues and lack of financial resources, personnel, and equipment, their activities are often difficult. The Foundation is building a cooperative system with SAD, but the mutual exchange is limited due to concerns about information leakage. Dark Sushi Overview Dark Sushi 
is a group of sushi chefs that deal primarily with food-related anomalies. The organizational structure is similar to a chain of goodwill in the restaurant industry and consists of low restaurants and employees per restaurant. Several members have similar anomalies to SCP-1134-JP. However, the sushi used by Dark Sushi includes food that are generally not classified as sushi, and the anomaly of SCP-1134-JP-1 generated from such foods is unpredictable. Moreover, the members are actively expanding and developing technology related to SCP-1134-JP-1. The origins of Dark Sushi, such as the date of its founding and founder, are unclear. But the current leader has been identified as a person called Yami. While details of the organization policy are unknown, research suggests that the group has some sort of dissatisfaction with traditional sushi eating cultures. Dark Sushi has rapidly grown strength in recent years in the paranormal food products community, and this may be accomplished through the unusual psychological manipulation techniques possessed by the group. Additionally, most members tend to have no qualms about using violent and heavy-handed means. The foundation remains vigilant for Dark Sushi, which actively links with other GOIs as they grew. Wuchin Kitsudoshu Overview Wuchin Kitsudoshu is a group that may be mentioned in relation to Ninja Shinobi or Ninjitsu Ninpo. They are presumed to engage in intelligence and operative activities in exchange for money often conflicts with the foundation. The level of technology of Wuchin Kitsushu and the details of the anomalies they possess are unknown, but some evidence suggests that its members prefer to use traditional weapons, tools, and arts. However, there is also evidence to suggest the organization's use of the latest technology, both anomalous and normal. It is presumed to be based in Japan, but it is confirmed their activities outside this country as well. Information on this GOI is lacking, and the Foundation is collecting it. Eden Leap Mutual Aid Overview EIMA is an anomalous religious group that operates in pan-dimensionality with Leap to Different Worlds as its doctrine or goal. Leaping to Different Worlds refers to moving to other worlds as a religious practice of EIMA. The objects of leaping reflect each member's perception of different worlds and range from other dimensions, parallel universes, the past, extraterrestrial stars, pocket dimensions, dream world, lower and upper creation world, and higher and lower conceptual space-time. Although leaping through different worlds has religious significance as service to the goddess Alma, a deity espoused by Believers of EIMA with no details. There are few religious precepts of EIMA except for this leap. They tend to be very loose in their organizational structure and abstain from cult-like behavior and fanatical sacrifice. And their missionary work is carried out voluntarily by devoted members known as missionaries. This is thought to be due to the influence of the myth of the legendary missionary Trowder, who is considered to be the religious ideal. Due to the cross-world missionary work of the founder and missionaries, EIMA has chapters scattered across many worlds, including the base universe where this document is being written. Some of these chapters are small and isolated due to not yet established the means of leaping to different worlds, while others are mutual aid by chapters from several worlds and possess more technical capabilities than the Foundation. It is suspected that a large number of GOIs and POIs are on friendly terms with the EIMA, either for the purpose of using their leaping technology or by helping to create anomalies at their request. To date, EIMA has not shown a consistent attitude towards the Foundation, but due to the biological, causal, 
spatial temporal the physical dangers of leaping to different worlds are unknown. The Foundation views EIMA as a pan-dimensional threat and has been tracking its movements through interactions with other foundations. The Kamikaze Clan Overview The Kamikaze Clan is a kinship group existing for a long time in Japan. They excel at talking. They were responsible for a wide range of tasks, which mediating wars, mediating between organizations, and compiling history books under the patronage of the Shushuin. It is said that Kamikaze's talking was not limited to interpersonal communication. Although they do not have standard means of opposition, such as reality bending and thaumaturgy, they can talk with and amicably persuade animals, plants, and even divine entities. Kamikaze do not have an armed force, but served as the core of a mutual aid organization for the weak. As part of its role, they protected war orphans and stragglers, displaced children, and make a member of the clan. They were influential in some regions, mediating daily village calls. However, their connection as a consanguinous group has broken down and there are only descendants scattered throughout the region that retains a few characteristics today. Life Raft Overview Life Raft is a collective name for a mutual aid organization of intelligent beings coming from various different worlds. The name Life Raft is for convenience only, is not a self-proclaimed name of each community and its members. The members and communities are scattered around this world. The composition and size of the communities may vary widely. It is speculated that there is a leader because of the lack of interaction between the communities while they are cooperative. Its members are many intelligent beings that were accidentally transferred from different worlds than the one where this text exists, and many of them have different characteristics and traits from the existing human race and biological species. The purpose of each member is to return to their original world or to obtain a stable living environment, but they are not identical. For this reason, it has been confirmed that some communities of life raft Members join and leave with high frequency. Although Life Raft first came to the attention of the Foundation in 19 Beep, it is known that the organization of Life Raft's origins was active in Europe and other parts of the world around the late 19th century from many related documents and interviews. It also is ascertained that several similar mutual aid societies that have no direct relationship to the current Life Raft existed in history prior to the 19th century. Based on this and what the Foundation has heard from those involved in their organizations, it is thought that Life Raft's organizational identity is thin. The relationship with the Foundation is, by its nature, broadly gentle tension state. On the other hand, some communities behave in very hostile ways, another conceal themselves very secretively, and yet another one establishes some relationships. So the Foundation determines how to cope with each specific community of Life Raft. The relationship between Life Raft and other groups is similar to that of theirs and the Foundation. Some members of each GOI temporarily enrolled in Life Raft also are detected. Imagine Animal Overview Imagine Animal is an intelligent metaphysical aggregate of conceptions of animals, which is an unspecified scale and is no systematic organization. The information obtained from several apical cases includes that the name Imagine Animal is a classification name derived from an external designation. Each existence that makes up the Imagine Animal are the conceptions of animals in characters based on animals except for humans. Held by human beings and any other existential intelligence and defined by positive perceptions for humanity as a conceptual host and cultural neighbor and interferences for physical intellectual activities that use cognition by 
existential intelligence as an access route. They have the distinctions of species and individuals, but the boundaries are far more unstable than those of physical entities. They are a very proactive aggregate about contacting existential intelligence, and their attitude is generally friendly. However, they often show an estrangement with human values and an uncomprehending of human society. In addition, activities such as enlightenment of the conceptions to an unspecified large number of people to stabilize the access route and interference for the existential side through incorporeal entity or dream entity or others, and contact with members of other GOIs and anomalous technology holders are occasionally found or so unsystematic, and the imagined animal is a risk that cannot be ignored in terms of preservation of normalcy. It is a major matter of concern for the Foundation that it is very difficult to investigate the whole aspect and to actively interfere with them from the existential side due to their nature. For this reason, the Foundation allocate the GOI 6636 number to imagine animal. On the other hand, there are no significant tensions or conflicts between the Foundation and imagine animal, and the modulability of the containment or concealment protocol through direct negotiations is comparatively high in cases where contact has been established. Tono Yokai Sanctuary Overview The Tono Yokai Sanctuary is a paranormal community that exists in a different dimension with the same name where it is accessible from the Kitakami Mountains on the outskirts of Tono City and many other places in the Tohoku region. It is inhabited by anomalous entities generally called Yokai and there are also a small number of humans and mixed blood between humans and these entities. This dimension, also known as Samuto no Sato, had been inhabited by a community of divine entities and their worshippers since ancient times. Self-governance by the World Office is prevalent in the Yokai Sanctuary, and it fits the definition of Freeport in the Foundation. The World Office has been consistently uncooperative with normalcy preservation organizations, including the Foundation, since the end of World War II. The say of government employees is restricted with few exceptions. Since its establishment, the World Office has continued to adopt a closed and isolated policy. However, since the beginning of the Heisei era, the external policy of the district has shifted to a gradual openness which has led to an immediate concern about the inflow-outflow of anomalies through external exchanges.